Imran sent us an email saying, if I am the Imam and there are women also praying behind me and cannot see me, and if I do the sujood at tilawa, then they might get confused. So what should I do in that case? Imran's question has many issues. One, the segregation between men and women at the time of the Prophet ﷺ was done in the masjid. So women took the back of the masjid while men took the front of the masjid. And the Prophet ﷺ said that the best rows of men, those are, that are first, and the worst rows of men, those that are last. And the best rows of women, those that are last, and the worst of women's rows, those that are first. So the Prophet ﷺ promoted segregation between men and women, even in the masjid itself. And this shows you, among other evidences in Islam, that such a segregation is highly recommended in our religion. It's basically keeping fuel far away from the fire. Now, in modern days, people came up with the new aspect of putting women in an isolated section of the masjid. Generally speaking, in a room of their own, where there are walls separating them from men. And this is not from the Sunnah. And this by itself has a lot of wrong things that could happen. Among them is that, like Imran said, women cannot see the Imam. They cannot see the rows behind the Imam, which means that they rely only on hearing the voice of the Imam from the loudspeakers. And if electricity goes off or goes out and they cannot hear, then you have a big problem. So this is not part of the Sunnah and it should not be done. Though we promote segregation, though we promote hijab, but you can't do something that the Prophet did not do alayhi as salatu wassalam and consider that to be part of the deen. Some scholars said that this is part of the deen, it's recommended, but because it was not done at the time of the Prophet wassalam, we should not listen to such opinions and we can see what resulted from it. Secondly, if you're the Imam, and you know that the women cannot see you. Yes, some masjids, they put a one-sided uh, um, mirror or two-sided, I don't know which one is the correct thing. So they can, uh, uh, the women can see the section of men, but the men cannot see the section of women. This is okay, maybe. There's no problem that as, at least they can visualize the prayer in front of them. So if you are the imam and you're leading the prayer and you know that they will be confused, you have one of two options. One of them is before you start the prayer, you make a announcement. You make an announcement stating that, listen, uh, 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 brothers and sisters, inshallah, we will be um, reciting a ayah with sujood. So be careful in the first rak'ah or in the second rak'ah that we will be doing this. this. This announcement is sufficient, inshallah. The second alternative is that you skip reading an ayah that has sujood in it so uh, that you would be safe. 